Welcome everyone, I am Ashwati Kumar. Today I am going to deal with the topic Vyayama, which is physical exercise. It is one name of Dhinasharya. So what is Dhinasharya? Dhinasharya is a regimen or activities which are supposed to be followed on a daily basis for our own self-care and health. And it is a sequence of 15 regimen which include Brahmi Muhute Uttanam, Sharira Shinda, Shauchavidi, Danda Davanam, Anjanam, Navanam, Gandusha, Dhuma, Tambula, Abhyanka, Vyayama, Unmardana, Udvartana, then Snana and Pojana. So, Vyayama it is a physical activity which will enhance or maintain the health and uh, it has a lot of benefits. We can learn that with this loka. Laka Vankarma Samaryam, Dito Vinita Sakshaya, Vipaktakana Gatratvam, Vyayama, Dupachayate, when we see, look into the benefits, we have we know that uh, exercise, uh, practicing exercise will give lightness to our body. Person who is practicing exercise will have more strength, he will be more energetic in performing the activities. It will increase the digestive power. We have always, always heard that, that prevention is better than cure. So it is better to prevent a disease before it, uh, it, it does manifest. Um, when we take the case of lifestyle diseases, uh, obesity. Practicing exercise will help in preventing obesity. How? Because uh, exercise uh, is having the benefit of uh, property in the liquefaction fat. So uh, it will liquefy the fat uh, which is accumulated in our body so we can prevent or uh, control the obesity. And uh, diabetes mellitus it is one of the lifestyle diseases which has affected most of the households. So, uh, while the person is uh, performing exercise, the muscles are working, so they will need more and more energy. For that, the glucose which is uh, stored in our body, it is used up for converting to energy for the functioning of the muscles. So, uh, it will help in reducing the blood glucose level. It is also helping in uh, reducing the stress of the mind. So, if a person is having a lot of stress, uh, like in the office work or household work, then uh, Vyayama is very much uh, in, uh, good for the mental health. Can everyone perform Vyayama? No, right. There are some contraindications as to who should perform, who are not meant, uh, supposed to be performed. So we can learn that with the help of this yoga. Vada Pitta Mai Balo Rito Chitni Shatantya Shet. That means uh, tender children and old age people, these two groups uh, are not meant to be performing exercise. And those who have diseases caused due to initiation of Vata Dosha and Pitta Dosha. Why? Because uh, exercise will provide us with Lagu Guna, lightness. We discussed that so it will provide us with Lagu Guna. And uh, the uh, uh, you know, there will be increase in temperature, sweating will be there during exercise, right? So it will provide Lagu Guna, Ushna Guna, and uh, these are Guna or qualities of Vata and Pitta Dosha respectively. So, if a person is having a uh, disease caused into Vata and Pitta, then if that person again performs Vyayama, what happens is uh, these uh, Lakukuna and Vishnakuna will uh, increase, causing initiation of the disease. The disease will make it worse. And uh, there are some instructions as to how others should perform Vyayama. Uh, we can learn that with the sloka. Ardha Shakyani Shriyastu, Galibhismita Boshiti. Shita Kaleva Sandesha, Mandameva the Punyata, Tamkritwana Sukandeha, Mardaisha Samandataha. That means if a, a strong and healthy person who is having a food um, ha, uh, with a fat content, then that person uh, is supposed to practice Vyayama with half of their body strength in cold climates, that is uh, rainy season and uh, winter season, Hemanta Shishita. And uh, um, uh, half of the body strength can be understood by the presence of the sweat in uh, forehead or armpits and uh, in other seasons uh, that, that person is supposed to be doing exercise with less than half of the body strength that is these uh, indications may not be there. So after the practice of Vyayama you are supposed to slightly massage the body parts it, uh, which is called as Ummartana and uh, if the exercise of Vyayama is done excessively, there will be some complications, right? Uh, which include Krishna Shaya Pradamagur, Tabitam Shamatlamaha, Ati Vyayama Dakkasu, 
ऊर्जा शर्दी से जाए दे व्हेन एक्सरसाइज इज डन एक्सरसाइज ए इट इज इट विल कॉज कृष्णा व्हिच इज थर्स दैट इज अम ड्यूरिंग द एक्सरसाइज द विल बी स्वेटिंग डिहाइड्रेशन इज हैपनिंग सो इट विल इंड्यूस द थर्स एंड व्हेन ओवर एक्सरसाइज डन इट विल कॉज फैटिग टायर्डनेस अम इट विल आल्सो कॉल कॉज मेंटल फैटिग इट विल कॉज रक्त पिता रक्त पिता इज बेसिकली ब्लीडिंग डिसऑर्डर इट मे बी ड्यू टू इंजरीज एंड फर्दर स्ट्रेन देन इट विल कॉज ज्वर आकुशन द ड्यूरिंग प्रैक्टिस ऑफ एक्सरसाइज द उष्ण बीमार स्ट्रेन है सो ड्यू टू इंक्रीज ऑफ द बॉडी टेम्परेचर फीवर में कंपनी सो वी डिस्कस अबाउट वर्ट इज बेनिफिट्स कॉन्ट्राइंडिकेशन स्पेसिफिक इंस्ट्रक्शन and also the complications that is caused due to excessive use that right? so this leads us to the question as uh, to what is the importance of uh, performing practicing your on a daily basis it will take us back to how prevention is better than cure now in present uh, time when we are fighting a lot of lives and diseases we are as uh, helping in uh, maintaining the health it prevent it helps in preventing various lives and diseases like be diabetes mellitus or obesity or stress or uh, coronary heart disease or hypertension or anything it helps in preventing preventing these conditions and also helps in controlling the disease level so uh, if a person is maintaining his health if a person is healthy then that person will be more productive and at the end of the day what is more important is always health so this is uh, the reason as to why vyayama is to be performed on a daily basis and with this we come to the end of the session thank you